What's up guys, this is Save Knight, and welcome to another Let's Play series. I decided to take a little break from doing um, Dark Parables. I mean, I did do seven back to back. Uh, I will go back and finish them at some point, but I just decided to take a little break. So I went browse around Steam, and I came across Slain, back from hell. And was described to me as Castlevania meets Death Clock, or Castlevania meets Metal Apocalypse, wherever you want to look at it. So it's like a side-scrolling action platformer with heavy metal, death metal overtones. So I'm like, okay, that's you know, each one's pretty boss on their own. Having them together, what am I doing? Okay, options. Sound uh, is fine. Controls. I do have a gamepad, but someone borrowing it at the moment, so I'm going to be using keyboard. I'm probably going to switch the gamepad when I get it back. Scheme A. Okay, arrow keys to move, up to jump, W to attack, R to dodge, E to block. Go ahead. Q for Mana Spirit, down and Q for Mana Blast. Steel Sword 1, Flame Blade 2, Ice Axe 3. Uh, escape for Pause, Enter, Menu Confirm, Backspace, Menu Back. And Scheme B looks like a hot mess because it's a combination of keyboard and mouse, so you know what? Scheme A will work. <coughs> CRT mode. Uh, off. Type 1, okay, that kind of hurts to look at. These freaky lines on them. Kind of like the old TVs used to be. I mean, I don't know, all my TVs are in my house are HD, so. or Ultra HD. Type 2, uh, just has a vertical one. So still kind of look like the old TVs. Not as bad, but it's like still kind of bright. So, you know what, that's gonna work. Combat tutorial. Ooh, excuse me. Press W to attack in order to dodge backwards. Press up arrow to perform a mighty leap. Press E to block. Block is held continually. Enemies will inflict an increasing amount of damage with each strike. Press Q to fire a mana spirit. Press and hold to charge up this attack. When the mana bar is full, press Q whilst crouching to release a devastating mana blast. Press and hold W to charge up a brutal attack that can only be unleashed with careful timing. A perfectly timed block will cause your opponent to become temporarily stunned, allowing you to perform a powerful critical strike with W. Killing a foe with a critical strike releases the wait, pleases I'm sorry. Killing a foe with a critical strike pleases the great horned metal god, so restore some mana. Hey, yeah, that's awesome. Magic bolt and fireball to be blocked. Press E are struck in midair to deflect the back to their source. Alrighty, that's it. Alrighty. Okay, you're in a crypt or something. Uh, whatever that is. And whatever the hell that is, jeez. Bathroom awaken. The land weeps once again. Arise. Ugh. Be gone, spirit. I gave you enough last time. Ah, so you still know me, Bathroom. Is it Bathorin? I think it's Bathorin. Indeed, now go away. It is time again, Guardian. Your children need you. Ugh, I told you I have no children. Now leave me to my slumber. Spirit, you know what must be done. As soon as you two are reunited, the demons will be roused from their fetid lair. Serve us well again, Bathorin, and may fire, ice, and steel prevail. Alrighty, 
beam is a shit, and it looks like you're the only one that can fix it for whatever reason. Okay, that's... Okay, what is that? W. Okay, that's block for the E. R to dodge. Okay, that's jump. I said there was something with a... of Lord Vrall, Vrall, I guess, surged from the fallen southlands of Chal. Those who stood defiantly against the invading monstrosities were butchered without mercy. Victory was swift and brutal, and in the wake of the rampant horde, all corners of the land were left awash with blood. Oof. Well, that's just downright mean. The blood grounds? I can't imagine why it's called that. I mean, there's just blood on the ground, there's like a blood haze in the background. Looks like blood rain. A blood river, blood lake. Whatever the hell those giant things are floating in the background. Uh, there's blood every fucking where. And what the ass is this? A thorn, we meet again. It is truly an eternal war we wage. I know you not, Abomination, but we will battle. Silence, mortal. My minions will deal with your insolence. Okay. Ooh, excuse me. Or W to attack, R to dodge backwards. We... How far do you even go back? That's eh, a little distance. Passing a beacon restores your vitality and mana to their fullest, plus chronicles your fate in the annals of history. <gasps> we up perform a mighty leap. Almost said mighty boosh. I don't know where the fuck that came from. Or uh, ooh, excuse me again. Whatever those things were. Something about blocking doing something with a something. Divine Angel will also restore your vitality and mana to your fullest. Press key fire mana spirit hole and charge it up. Okay, so you learned all this. Press mana bar with full and okay, mana blast. See, you learned all this in the tutorial. I could have just completely have skipped that whole part. That looks horrible. It's very horrible. Even unlocked. Someone's paying attention. That was kind of weird looking. Yeah, that was. That looks like horrible things over there. Eh. I guess I can't get to that. 
that. Magic bolts and fireballs can be blocked with the yeah. Or struck in midair. Okay, so that I learned that already too. Whoop, that was like a little blood bone looking thing. Nope, that wasn't it. It was the other one. We. Badly. Oh, shit, I do have mana. Mana, whatever. It doesn't it look like it shoots in a straight line. Path forward has been opened. Uh,
Yeah, because this place wasn't fucking peachy enough as it was. I do believe those are beholders. Well, at least they're not like fucking D&D &D beholders. Huh? That'll be very, very bad. Sanctuary. Ah, fresh man blood. My seedlings will thrive. Step aside, creature, I'll be forced to cut you down. Yes, try and feel the baleful prick of my thorns. Your rotting corpse will nourish my soil. If you not submit, you will perish.
unlocked Thorn and my Herbicide. Press A to honor the. <laughs> oh god, that's awesome. So press A to honor the Great Horn Metal God. Uh, that's fucking awesome. You have slain the Thorn Beast. Its foul essence seeps back into the earth. That is an awful lot of essence. You have the Blood Tower Key. That's a lot. That is a lot of essence. A whole lot of essence. Oof. Alrighty, I guess that was my first boss. Yeah. The Blood Tower. Prior to its fall, this tower was a symbol of strength and provided sanctuary to the brave defenders of Chal. Ransacked and overrun with Lord Rawl's murderous servants, this previously noble structure now stands gray and cold like a forgotten tombstone. Alrighty, this looks like a good place to call it. I mean, not too bad for the first run. So, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and keep playing this, because it's pretty badass. When we come back, I will take on the... What the fuck did they just call this place? The Blood Tower. Yeah, there we go. Blood Tower. So, until then... This is Save Night on Let's Play Slain Back from Hell. Later, guys.